They spent countless hours on board a boat working to bring the story of a historic Coast Guard rescue to the big screen. Backstageofall.com's Dave Morales spoke with the stars of The Finest Hours, Chris Pine and Ben Howard, who both say they're still thawing out a year mm. later. I, I, really? I mean, they really feel like they're, they're right. Yeah, you're going to see more of this a warning. You might get uh, seasick watching this. I'm kidding. Uh, we're going to show a little bit more of the you know actual filming mm -hmm. sequences. This was a real, real uh, rescue that happened back in 1952. The biggest rescue in Coast Guard history. We talked to Chris Pine, Ben Foster about the finest hours. Station Chatham, you copy? I repeat, conditions hazardous. We got an 18 foot fracture in our hull. How do you want us to proceed? Over. How incredible is this true story? I mean, it is just unbelievable. First of all, that I hadn't even heard of it. Had you guys heard about it? Never heard about it, and I think that's just a testament to the kinds of people we're talking about. It's an era where. Uh, unlike the world in which we live today where there's Twitter feeds and tumblers and all sorts of um, look at me uh, digital adventures these were people that clocked in and did their job and then went home and lived their lives and uh, Andy Fitzgerald actually one of the gentlemen on the boat never told his wife about it until two or three years into their marriage and the only reason why he did is because she asked so it's the kind of people we're talking about it's completely antithetical to, to a, a celebrity culture. It's, it's, it's just do your job because you love your job and you don't have to talk about it. And it's, it's for serving others. And, and, and what a beautiful thing that is to celebrate. The movie, I think one of the other characters obviously is the sea, makes it look so huge. And I've heard all kinds of stories, you know, about filming this thing, that the set was huge. Yeah, we uh, shot a lot of this film on stages that uh, were old uh, shipyards. Or where they, yeah, where they built ships. In fact, one of the tankers in the ship, the Pendleton, I think, was built where we were uh, filming a lot of it. So they were really old, super old warehouses. So uh, two or three football fields big. How much did you guys know about boating? And because honestly, if it was up to me, if was, I was part of this, I would be lost like the first day. I know nothing about boating. I mean, really, what's kind of stunning about it is that the boat is essentially a steering wheel. Uh, an ignition and forward and back and uh, it's a slow boat so when you put it into uh, whatever first gear let's say it takes a bit of time for it to kind of get its bearings and go reverse is the same way so imagining that wooden boat with those kind of very base mm. mechanical elements at play with 70 foot waves and swells and the steel hull of a broken oil tanker uh, it, I would think that it takes even that much more craftsmanship and technique to <laughs> to succeed. Traumatic. You mm -hmm. see this thing and you can't believe that it's real. Yeah. It happened in 1952, the biggest rescue in Coast Guard history. The ship, it's still there off the coast. They have it like at a museum, but it's yep. tiny. And, it, and you see this moving, it puts you into the, the waves in the ocean. It makes you feel how gigantic this rescue really was. It's a really good film, safe for the entire family. PG-13 opens Friday, our travel by Disney. It looks like a good one. Yeah, it I really is. It. And yeah. seen in 3D, and I know I've said that before. <laughs> I don't work for 3D, uh, the 3D glass company. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm serious. But it just, it really puts you into the film when you see it I can see, see like how that. it would yeah. be good that way. Yeah. Cool. Dave, thank you. Take some anti-nausea medicine. Oh, there's that yes. as well.